What's up guys? It's another day with Plumbing with Dad. Uh, we've got a water leak out in the country. We're going to check it out. Luke and Matt's going to be doing some digging. Y'all ready for some digging? Yeah. Don't sound too excited about it. Well, we're going to get out there and see what it is and see what we got to fix. See you at the job. Got to get some snacks on our way to the job. Make sure we have plenty of fuel to get this job done. Matt looks hungry. He's always hungry though. Job guys, we're here to check out the water leak. Got the boys here getting ready to see where it's at. And there we go. Box full of water. It's a muddy one. There you go, Matt. It's a big scoop. Maybe uh something. PVC Maybe probably. a broke, broken connection? Connection, yeah, probably. Either coupling, mining, anything. Uh, that's some good footwork there. Steven doing good. Yeah, work the muscles. It's a lot of water. Alright, I'm going to go get a bucket. Yeah, go and grab a bucket so we can get it all dipped out. What you doing, Luke? Getting all the water out. Oh, okay. Getting it, putting it in a bucket. All right. Getting it down to see what the water leak is, huh? Yeah. Know it. So we found the leak. All the water is gone. We got all the water out. So the leak is the valve right here, the turn it off, off valve. When you turn it on, it kind of stops because it has flowing water. But when you turn it off, it has a bunch of pressure at that pipe right there and it's leaking right there. So yeah, it's coming out the pipe. That valve is definitely no good. Gonna have to change it, Luke. So we'll have to run and get some supports from the supply house and then we will return to the job. We'll so. see you in the van. All right guys, we're heading back to go to the supply house. We're going to get the parts. Dad's driving right here, that's why he can't video. We got Matt right here. He's got a monster in his hand. Loves drinks, I guess. But yeah, we're heading to the supply house to get the parts. What's up guys, here at the supply house. Gonna go in and get what we need. And at the snap of this, you'll see what I have in my hand. Whoa, there it is. Everything we need to complete the job. Now we're on our way. So we're back at the job. Matt, you ready to help make the repair? Uh -huh. Matt? Uh -huh. Unresponsive. Oh well. Okay, Matt, you got everything? Yeah. Got all the tools? That's not a way to set the tools up. Just need to be more organized. Okay, I'm gonna go shut off the water, guys, and you always see me shitting off the water. All right, guys, I'm at the water meter right here, and I'm gonna be shutting it off. Okay, it is shut off, all good and tidy, and we're gonna go get back to the the leak. All right, guys, we're back at the leak. We got Dad right here. We got the leak still out. dripping. Get the saws off for Dad. You get the water turned off, Luke? Yeah, I did. It is turned off. Good. All good and tidy. Might want to step back. It may spray you. Yeah. There's your problem. Get the pressure off of it. Let it drain down a minute, and we can repair it. Okay, it is drained now. My dad is going to cut it. He's cutting the pipe out so he can fix the leak. Let's get it sanded and cleaned up so we can get it all clean. Get all that nasty old stuff. Old glue and there. primer and 
you know, a nice good seal on it and glue to it. change it over to PEX because I really don't like those PVC valves. These things, like you saw, they go to leaking around that stem after they're in the ground for a while, so get rid of those. So we're going to convert it from PVC to three-quarter PEX. Right there, that line of PEX. Changeover valve. Three-quarter swivel female PEX to three-quarter PVC male adapter. Cleaned real good. He's getting some primer on the pipes right there. Trying to get all the water out. All the bubble, bubbles. Oh. And this glue is really good. It's a hot glue. Uh, it'll glue with water coming out of the pipe. I mean, if you have a full pressure water, of course it won't work. It won't glue, but uh, this glue is really good in the winter time and cold temperatures. Um, or if you have a little bit of water coming out of the pipe, it's a good seal. A whole lot better. Yeah, that's what we used all our life, just blue glue and purple primer. Get some picks. A couple pieces cut. Slide them on there. It's a little close fit there. So we'll have to cut them off just a bit. Slide so, our rings on so we can crimp it. Are you going to put a shut off on there, Deb? Yeah, we're going to put that brass peck shut off that I showed earlier in here in place of that old PVC one. Okay, Luke, you got the crimpers. Let's get those crimps made. Okay, got those crimps made. Let's install the valve together. Uh, pushing down, pull up. There you go. Slide your ring up. See if it turns. Yep, it turns works real easy, good. easy on and off. Okay, slide your rings back. There you go. And get your crimps made. I have a hurt hand guys so it's hard to crimp. My wrist is kind of messed up. So yeah, easy on, easy off. Works All right. Good. Let's wait a few minutes and make sure that glue is good and dry and we'll get the water shut on. Okay, it is Lucas here. We're back at the water meter. We're gonna turn it back on because the, it has dried, so. Okay, it is back on. I turned it back on and yeah. We'll see you back over at the leaking pipe. Back at the pipe. Luke has got the water turned on now. Let's see. Yeah, Look we're like... back at the pipe. I turned it on. So we're going to put some, some mud in there because it is not leaking anymore. So yeah. Good as new. Another successful job with plumbing with dad. Okay, we're putting in the mud. The mud is. Look at Matt putting in the work, man. Alright guys, this is my dad's 2012 Shelby GT500 car right here. It is it is convertible, rare car, Shelby GT500 with a super snake hood and hood pins. 
So what you doing, Dad? Just finished cleaning it up. So you want to start it for us? Yeah, I'm that. sure the viewers want to see it started up. Sounds good. Okay, I'm going to show you the rest of the tire. And yeah, guys, I'll show you. I got half of it broken out, so I'm gonna break the rest out of the box. Wow, oh my gosh, it's all clean. Every the whole floor is clean. We got all the tile up, and I'm gonna show you all the whole house. Okay, you go down in this is the living room. That's the kitchen over there. Here, I'll go show you all the kitchen real quick. We're gonna remodel the whole thing. We gotta get this tile up too. Just kitchen regular everything, fridge, everything. So yeah, going into the living room. The door to walk in, a bunch of tile right there. Going to the hallway into the bedrooms. Bedroom number one. Bathroom. Bedroom number two. And bedroom number three. And yeah, that's about it. That's the whole house. We're done getting the tile up and everything. And yeah. What is up, guys? We put up some more, some tile. I didn't think we are going to do any tile today, but my dad right here put some tile down. But that's just the starting of it. But when we get the next some of the tile back on, we'll show you some more of it. So yeah, that's my dad did it himself. So 